In this video, I'll show you how to find the limits of trigonometric functions. You'll need to know the following two limits to be successful in these questions. We'll start with question number one. Now, the trick to finding the limits of trigonometric functions, namely sine and cosine, is that the coefficient in front of the x need to be the same. So notice that the coefficient here is 3, but the coefficient here is 1. If we can somehow match them, the limit goes to 1. One way that you can match these coefficients is by multiplying the top and the bottom by the coefficient that you want. So by multiplying this top part by 3 and this bottom part by 3, you end up with this. 3 sine 3x over 3x. And if we take the limit of this expression, we end up with this. This part and this part cancel out, become 1. And the limit of 3 as x approaches 0 is always 3. So your answer is 3. In this question, we have a sine at the top and a sine at the bottom. So we'll use the same logic as before. We'll multiply the top and the bottom by 7x this time and also 4x over 4x. And what this will do, notice that this and this will lead to 1 as x approaches 0. And this with that will also approach 1. And you are left with 7x over 4x. The 7x and the 4x have x's, which will cancel out, leading you to an answer of 7 over 4. In question number 3, we we're asked to find the limit of a function containing tangent. Now, tangent x is defined as sine x over cosine x. Now, since we only have these two limits to work with, we'll be using this version rather than tangent. So let's do that. Sine 5x over cosine 5x over 2x. If we rearrange this and simplify it, we end up with sine 5x over cosine 5x. And we're dividing by this number here. So we end up with times 1 over 2x. Now, in case you don't know why that is, remember, a over b divided by, let's say, c becomes a over b times 1 over c. So that's the logic behind it. And what we're going to do next is multiply the top and the bottom by 5x. I'll demonstrate why I'm doing this. If I multiply the top and the bottom by 5x, what I end up with is sine 5x, and I'm going to take this 5x and put it over underneath here, times 5x over 2x, and remember we still have this cosine, 1 over cosine 5x. We know this will go to 1. The two x's here will cancel out. And if we were to use our calculator, and I already have it preset here, and we said cosine 5 times 0, you would end up with 1. So this would actually go to 1. That being said, our limit for this function is 5 over 2. Let's proceed on to our last question. In our last question, they are asking us to find the limit of this. And once again, I'm going to change that. to sine 8x over cosine 8x. And I'm going to shuffle this around, make it look nice. 9x times cosine 8x. And if you're confused as to how that went up there, just use the logic up here, this one, divided by sine 8x. And we're going to use the same logic as before, in the sense that we will multiply the bottom and the top by 8x. 
and 9x and 9x. And I'll show you why that's important. So rearranging this, sine 9x, I'm going to use this 9x so underneath here, and cosine 8x, and then this sine 8x will have the 8x at the top, and the remainder will be 8x over 9x. Interesting. So this becomes 1, this becomes 1, the two x's cancel out, and you're left with 8 cosine 8x over 9. Remember, if you were to apply 0 to this trigonometric function, it will go to 1, and your final answer is 8 over 9. So there you have it. That is how to find the limits of trigonometric functions. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.